What's up everybody, it's Sabala here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to implement the actual record pattern with timeline curves. So if you don't know what they are, you should probably go to the uh, Unreal Online documentation and see uh, how they work and so on. Alright, and in the previous video uh, we've set up two functions called on fire and stop fires so now in our weapon blueprint i also gonna create two function uh, this is a custom event so i will name it ce event and on fire and uh, one custom event for stop fire all right but i'm not gonna implement these two functions in the base weapon class but instead uh, I'm gonna override those two functions in our AK weapon blueprint so uh, you just need to click uh, override and on fire and start fire well the reason why I created two functions in the base class is because I want to uh, we use them in uh, the try class of this blueprint so I won't have to declare the function again alright and in this fire function we're gonna create a timeline uh, I'm gonna call it report timeline alright and for the stop fire I'm gonna plug it into the reverse pin so the idea behind uh, creating a record pattern is that you're gonna constantly adding a pitch and your input to your character so as you can see in the reference uh, ak record um, the gun is kind of moving up and to the right a little bit uh, so um, we're just gonna get uh, a, um, get a controller. And then we're gonna need to add a uh, pitch input and then a yaw input. So uh, let me show you uh, real quick how this works. So in our record timeline, I'm gonna create two flow checks. One for the uh, pitch input and one for yaw input. And then we're gonna block the pitch input uh, to the value pin over here and also for the yaw input here you go all right and this will be the outline for our logic and in our uh, character blueprint on the on fire function uh, i'm gonna call the on fire custom event of our weapon here you go and in our stop fire function I'm gonna call it the stop fire custom event of our weapon footprint compile and save so now if you uh, uh, if you press play and shoot uh, nothing will happen because uh, our flow tracks are currently uh, empty and here come the important part of uh, so to demonstrate, uh, I'm gonna create a um, keyframe in the put in the pitch input. So if I want the weapon to go up, I'm gonna uh, add a keyframe to it, and the value will be about one, I think. All right. So if I uh, play and fire all right so the pitch input is uh, inverted so we need to uh, add a uh, negative value to the track right, so as you can see the gun is uh, pointing up as we uh, constantly uh, increase the uh, pitch input value over here so for the AK record pattern uh, I'm gonna change the length the timeline to 5.3.5 and then I'm gonna modify the pitch and the yaw input flow checks over here to uh, form a record pattern. So um, 
gonna type in the value real quick all right so this will be the pitch input flow track so uh, in here I'm constantly um, increase the pitch input uh, of the player and then decrease it a little bit and it's gonna gradually uh, slowing down so um, to demonstrate I'm gonna play and fire you can see um, the gun is uh, going up uh, fast at first and then uh, gradually uh, slowing down and then in the pit, in the yaw input um, so for example if I want to uh, make the gun go a bit to the right I'm gonna adjust the uh, keyframe here and press play Oh, as you can see, oh, so it's uh, currently to the left, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, so now for the actual record pattern, I'm gonna modify the uh, value uh, real quick. Alright, and those are my final flow tracks for the uh, pitch input and the yaw input. So if you want to make your own record pattern, you will need to uh, experiment with the value of the uh, keyframes in the flow track a bit more. And believe me, it will take quite a lot of time to get the right value for your need. So uh, yeah, take your time, uh, adjust the value of the keyframe. So in here, uh, this is our record pattern at the moment. Pretty cool, huh? But as you can see right now, the line traits are kind of lined up too perfectly at the moment. So we will need to fix this issue, but uh, not in this video. But instead, I'm going to cover it in my next video, which is about bullet spread. So as you can see in our AK reference, um, when the weapon starts firing, the gun will go up and right a little bit. But when the player starts firing or when the weapon is uh, running out of ammo, the gun will return back to the starting point, which is over here. So that's the reason why I flub the uh, on fire function to our reverse timeline because after we uh, start firing, we want to we want to position our weapon to the starting point. Alright, so uh, first I'm gonna collapse this into a uh, function called uh, update player pitch and your input. And then conveniently we have a direction output of the timeline. So I'm gonna call a switch. No. Uh, plug it here and and why the timeline is uh, played forward uh, it's gonna call this function and and when the timeline is reversed it's gonna execute uh, whatever connected to this uh, backward pin so uh, for the backward I'm gonna also gonna update uh, our player pitch and your input and for the pitch input I'm gonna uh, multiply this with uh, negative one because we want to reverse uh, our recoil pattern so we need to uh, multiply it with a negative value I'm gonna also gonna multiply the yarn input with uh, negative one alright let's test this out real quick so if I should uh, the timeline will be played and when I release the mouse the timeline will be reversed uh, but uh, as you can see the reverse speed is kind of slow right now so uh, before we uh, play the timeline I'm gonna get the reference to this timeline and set the play rate of the uh, on fire to 1 so this is a normal uh, speed but uh, when we uh, reverse the timeline uh, gonna set the play rate to about 
uh, 13 yeah so if we uh, test this uh, so when the timeline will bus all right so as you can see, uh, the timeline is reversed, but it stopped too quickly. Uh, it's because uh, after we set the player rate of the timeline to 15, we need to multiply this value with the fire rate. So I'm going to multiply this value with uh, our fire rate. And play. So this is uh, playing forward, and this is playing backwards. Yeah. But, um, it's kind of look weird right now, so I'm going to change the value to about 3. Alright, compile and save. Those values are just my preference, so um, so you guys should play around with the values uh, a bit more. Alright, and if I test, I'll record pattern at the moment. And when I release the mouse, yep. So here you go, this is our logic for the record pattern and I'm gonna address the uh, bullet spread and camera check in my future videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.